Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Nathan Silas and today we have a very disturbing news. Of course, I saw this video, I was a little bit touched and I said that I want to share this with you. And then this video is basically meant for the Christians um, faith, for them to see and then after this then to be able to see if they can be able to do something about this and then this video says that how 100 churches are transforming into mocks okay and this one shows that there's actually a weakness in the body of christ and that is why we are facing what we are facing because why should churches be transformed into mocks why it means that we are failing in some of our ways of doing things or in the doctrines we are preaching to the people and that is why we are facing some of these things but then before then it will be good for us to check out what this video is all about and then we can be able to hear some of the reasons that is making the churches to be sold to muslim that is being used as um mocks so if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my facebook and instagram and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys before we get on to the video i'm a theologian and i make this video not to discredit anyone's belief or opinion or thought this is basically for educational purposes and i believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this so guys without any further ado let's get on to this video and check this out you know that feeling of passing by a church. Its doors, once wide open, but now closed. Silent? It's a scene playing out in cities and towns around the Western world. But here's the twist. Some of these closed churches are finding new life. Not as they were, but as something entirely unexpected. Yep, you heard it right. Churches are getting a new lease on life as masjids, alhamdulillah. It's not just about bricks and mortar, it's a story of transformation. Many new movements and breakaways from the church also affect church attendance. More and more people are attached by these movements and they're leaving the organized church to be part of these. Most people are experiencing a dead church on a Sunday and almost no church interaction during the week. Nothing significant is going on between those four walls when the devotees gather and nothing significant is going on among the members of the church or in the lives of church members during the week. With less devotees attending the churches, funding reduces and eventually churches are forced to close down. On the other hand, Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. And the devotees of Islam remain faithful to our Lord and His commands. We all know the feeling of peace and serenity we experience within the walls of a mosque. It is a feeling that cannot be put into words. The mosques are considered houses of Allah. And the connection the believers establish with their community mosque is pivotal to the unity and brotherhood of their community. Keeping these factors in mind, I'll bring you now on some famous churches that have been converted to mosques in the UK, USA, Australia, and Canada. These transformations are disturbing the Christian community and the missionaries, but it is now growing beyond their control with Muslims getting funding and buying over churches with approvals from local government authorities and other officials. Of course, it's not without its fair share of opposition and bureaucratic systems to make the path harder for the Muslim community. According to information, only in Canada, during the past 20 years, dozens of churches have been converted into mosques. Wembley Central Mosque in Northwest London was a church, which had later been bought by the Muslims and converted into a mosque. In Canada, a church located at 56 Boasted Avenue, Toronto, was converted into Jamil Mosque. A long-standing Lincoln Road United Church was sold and the historic building that was erected 100 years ago for Protestant Christians now serves 
now serves Windsor's Muslim community. The church was transformed into a mosque and a madrasa and named as Masjid Nurul Islam Madrasa and Cultural Center for Windsor. This church was in fact sold for a lower price as they couldn't find people to run the church and fund it. Commenting on the sale, Ross Mitten, chair of the Finance and Property Committee of the United Church Essex Presbytery, told reporters, It was very sad when we closed, but our resources were dwindling, and the congregation was getting older and reducing in size. Unfortunately, there just wasn't enough of the next generation, and I'm talking about 60 years old taking the church director positions, so it had to close. A similar trend to Canada is sweeping through the United States as well. According to churchleadership.org, about 4,000 churches a year close in the United States, compared to perhaps 1,000 that start up. A church in Germany was purchased by Muslims and converted into a mosque. It was purchased by the Islamic Center, a Noor in Hamburg, Germany, and converted into a mosque to accommodate a Noor's 2,000 congregants. According to a 2015 report of the Religious Studies Media and Information Service of Germany, there were roughly 4 million Muslims in the country. The number of Christians in Germany has been shrinking since the 1990s, while those professing no religion have grown to over 27 million. On July 17, 2015, the Assembly of Roman Catholic Bishops in Germany announced that almost 218,000 Germans had left their church in 2014 alone, the largest annual loss since at least 1990. The most prominent examples of the actions were the opening of Al Fatih Mosque in Amsterdam, the Sultan Ayub Mosque, and the Osman Ghazi Mosque in the Netherlands. In France, the Dominican Church in Lyle and the St. Joseph Church in Paris have been turned into mosques. A Bradford abandoned Victorian Methodist Church, vacant since 2020, is set to be converted into a mosque to serve the growing Muslim community. The building on Chapel Lane, which dates back to 1870, has been bought by the local Muslim community to be renovated into a mosque. These structures converted from one religion to another is sparking a different type of anger against the Muslim community. A Christian association called Friends of the Protestant Church in Berlin published a report on the conversion of 10 churches this year in Germany into mosques. It said the phenomenon was not new, but it was repeated and deliberate. On a different note, though, in some areas, there is support to work around the potential problems that could arise with a new mosque in the area. The Muslims always assure the locals that there will be no destruction of property and that nobody will be forcibly converted to Islam. They only open mosques as a place of worship for themselves and a central location for the community members to gather. Non-Muslims are permitted, however, to visit mosques and discover for themselves the truth and beauty of Islam. Wow, that's a very interesting um, video, learning about um, how churches are being um, converted to mosques across the Western um, countries. And then this video emphasizes more on UK, Netherlands, Canada, USA, and the rest of it. Of course, we have seen some of the reasons, but then one thing I could say is that um, that I think was one of the reasons why you see some of these churches in a stand be drastically reduced in numbers to the point that they are not be able to run the churches is because people put a lot of emphasis on the church building and then rather put a lot of you know, energy on the members and then put energy on the members by talking to them about the kingdom of God and not necessarily about you understand the earthly possession and since people put more energy more attention on the building and then that's why you could see people who build innocent church buildings have people 
and then try to open a lot of branches as a form of franchise it means that people are just running it in a sense for business in a sense purposes and then since in a sense the foundation was not built based on christ and then at that point in time it's just like an enemy or shade promising you in a sense something which you know that is always like a mirage which shows that it will never last and that is why you see some of these things in a sense happen now you could look at in a sense some of the doctrines in these respective countries that we are talking about you see that for instance when we were giving birth of course we are being known either you are a a, a, a male or a female right but then look at it in a sense in these listed innocent countries now they make it in the sense that when you are giving birth and then at some point you know, can still decide to whether you want to be a man or you want to be a woman and then some of the churches decide to put this in their doctrines by saying that they can even officiate in a sun wedding of people of same gender so what did you expect from the people at that point in time some people left the churches feeling that they don't want to be part of this and then some of them end up you understand becoming what an atheist and that's why some could decide that okay let's go and find another religion some decide to convert to other religion why because of some of these things people actually in a sense want peace and then as far as in a sense they are there and then they are not getting the peace in which in a sense they desire so at some point they feels like look let's just go to another place and say if we can be able to find peace the truth about it is we are not equal as far as in a sense christianity is concerned there are some who are strong in spirit. There are some who are not yet strong in spirit. They are like kind of babies in the spirit. So at that point in time, they can be able to make any decision at any time. But there are others that they have already, they believe in God. So irrespective of whatever the storm might come, of course, they will still stay and then still believe you understand, in God you understand, to turn around in a sense situation. But then it's not everyone that can be able to withstand that. And that's why you see some of these things in a sense keep happening at some point you could see some of the miracles that maybe some of my colleague might be doing some could be doing miracles that are not real some could decide to go and maybe connect with some of their members that while i am preaching or while i am praying you should be able to do this or you should do that and then people begin to do some things and then later on they tend to find out that some of the miracles they are doing are fake they are not true and then some of the members who feels like they are being deceived as if it's a kind of a deception kind of a thing so some people decide what to leave the religion and then some some of my colleague pastors will be like okay for them to pray for you that you have to bring some kind of amount of money for when when once they pray for you then miracle would happen god will bless you and all those things which all those things in a sense are not true we do not see jesus christ do that we do not see the apostles do that we do not see the disciples do that so why are some of us in a sense doing this and that's why you see i am saying that most of them are running it as a capitalist as a matter of fact you understand they do it that they can even see somebody owning several churches why is this so it's because of people have turned it what to business and that's why some could even says that they have anointing oil that when you buy this very oil from them that whenever you rub it or something and then you pray over it that god is going to answer you some will say it's water some will say that okay you should buy this cross that maybe when you hear it then that's when you'll be able to receive god protection which all those things in a sense are not true People are just doing it in a sense in order for them to sell and then to make money. So when you look at it, the emphasis is not based on the people or preaching to them for them to turn to God. But then rather, they are rather doing it what to be able to gain money from it, which is what people in a sense are fond of doing. And this is the situation where we have find ourselves. And that's why you see some of these churches what are folding up. As a matter of fact, I could go to for instance go to a particular state now for instance and then i could see a church then i was be like i am catholic and then since the church is methodist oh i would not like to go there and worship or oh the the church is maybe sda 
so I will not go and worship. Or some will say that, oh, Anglican. So some will be like, okay, I have to go and find an Anglican church before I can be able to worship. Or look at the Muslim. Anywhere they are just walking, out, walking as far as they just see a mouse, they just enter. They worship. So why are we doing it differently? But then, one thing that I want to say is that the church building is just a building. It is we, the members that make up, you understand, the church. We are the church. The church is in us. So I expect that when you leave, you don't have to convert to another religion. If, you understand, you are living based on some kind of doctrine that you feel that is not right, all I can be able to say to you is that you should go to a church that practice what God is saying. Go to a Bible-believing church that do in according to what Jesus Christ in a sense I'll say and then go there and worship rather than some of you to just turn to 80s or some of you to just decide to convert to other religion without making much more findings so so many things in a sense happen that make some of these churches you understand to fold up and I know that some of you even know better I'm just trying to point out some few reasons why I think that churches in a sense are folding up which I know that a lot of you have so many reasons to why churches are folding up. So I also wanted to drop it at the comment section so that we all can learn from one another. So this is the end of my video. If you like my reaction, if you like, share and subscribe. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, you remain blessed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.